Brought to us by Allegiant Federal Credit Union. Shape your future. Visit AllegiantFCU.org. The Buckos beat the Dodgers last night. One to nothing. Paul Skeens on the mound today, weather permitting. And John Wayner joins us now to discuss. John, we were concerned a little bit. The velocity for Jared Jones down a smidge his last start. And then he's throwing 101 yesterday. What a performance from the young phenom. Boy, you could tell he was a little amped up facing his hometown team and um you know plus he probably had a little bit of a sour taste in his mouth from his last outing where he gave up a season high in runs and um you know it's amazing to have a kid that young and that fearless and from pitch one i think at 101 or i think whatever i know he gets he threw a couple at 101 with with mookie betts in that first batter and um, and even though he got into a little bit of trouble there uh, in the first few innings where he had some runners on base, and and that's where usually young guys might get a little nervous and try to make a perfect pitch and end up making mistakes. But, no, he, he bared down and, and just attacked even more. Uh, very, very <laughs> impressed. So much fun watching him because he, he is so emotional. He does get so amped up. But he knows how to pitch. And, you know, he knows how to pitch out of jams. It was incredibly impressive. And for me, I, I couldn't help thinking watching this, is if this team can get a little better offensively and, and score some runs with this pitching staff, the starting staff in particular, um, who's going to want to face this guy in the playoffs along with Skeens and uh, Mitch Keller and Falter and, you know, Pereira, whoever else is there, but I mean, the Pirates would be a dangerous team just because of their starting pitching if they can get to the postseason. Well, John, it was apparent that his teammates fed off of his energy yesterday. You saw Mitch Keller giving him hugs in the in the uh, dugout. You saw everybody jumping around, cheering and, and excited. From you being around this team, do you think that they believe? Do you think that they believe that they could be good? That they could actually do something this year? A hundred percent, I do. I, I think for whatever reason, you know. Part of it's because of Jones and what he's done, but when when Skeens came up and the energy that that brought, I mean, it, it was kind of contagious throughout the clubhouse, and you could see it on the field. Um, you know, they believe that they can go out and win every night because the starting rotation. You know, I, I'm I'm not a big gambling guy, and I know that's kind of been in the headlines here the last couple of days, but. You know, I, I'm sure when they put up their lines, what what the odds are, it's based on starting pitching, and it, it's it's it, every time you look at who's starting for the Pirates, you think you got a chance to win, and so um, the question is, how much offense can they produce? How many you know could, can they score enough runs to support this this starting rotation? And um, yeah, there's no doubt in my mind they they feel that they're good and that they can they can get to the postseason, but. Um, you know, obviously, they got to take advantage. You know, that would have been a heartbreaker last night. You know, to throw up all those zeros, uh, you know, and lose that late, which we've done a few times this year as well. So, um, yeah, they're going to pitch. They just got to be able to create more runs or push more runs across the plate. Neil Walker texted us earlier, and I I think it was a little tongue in cheek, but I'm taking it kind of seriously here, John. So Jared Jones throws 101 that first at bat yesterday threw 101 when he struck out Otani the first time too. Neil said wouldn't shock him if Skeens goes out there and hits 103 on the first pitch. Do you see it kind of being one of those piggyback deals where now Skeens wants to go out and out duel his friend? Well, I do think that they, I, I don't know if the velocity is that big a deal is if they want to throw harder than the guy before. Uh, obviously, those two are the only ones that are going to hit triple digits, uh, at least out of the rotation. Um, I, but I do think that there is probably a little bit of an internal competition uh, amongst the starters who could one up the next. And, um, 
you know, it's going to be hard for anybody to top what, what Jones and, and that staff did, the three relievers did yesterday, just because you shut them out. And and to be able to keep them, you know, hitless with runners in scoring position, especially the top five of that lineup. But, yeah, I, I, I think there's probably a little back and forth between the guys as, you know, who strikes out more, you know, who, who throws up more zeros, who gives up less, less hits. And, Etc. and so forth, and um, you know it, it'll be interesting to see. I, I really look forward to tonight's game. I mean, there's so much hype. I think with uh, Jones obviously facing his hometown team, and, and and you know it's a big. You're, you're facing the big boys, quite simply. These yeah. are the guys with the most, the biggest payroll, and 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 a bunch of MVPs on the, in this lineup, and um, you know, and, and Skeens obviously is the, one of the most hyped pitchers. Uh, this year in, in all of baseball, and, and he gets to face him here tonight. So um, I hope he can match him zero for zero. Um, I don't care if he throws harder than him, although he probably will. Um, maybe he gets more strikeouts and goes deeper. Who knows? But uh, I look forward to it. it, it it's going to be a fun uh, fun night tonight. They got an assist from that north side notch last night, didn't they, John? Yeah, a couple of balls. Um, you know, uh, the, the ball hit out by Hernandez, the straightaway center, where Chapman threw his glove. I mean, that was. That, yeah, I thought it was gone. It sounded good. I saw Chapman's reaction, which usually tells you something. Um, and then with Bednar, same thing. Um, although the ball, where um, what's his name, Chris Taylor hit the last out of the game. When you when the ball is hit that high into that area, I, I just I just never expect it to go out. It's so far to to hit one four ten into the into into the gap. Um, I wasn't as worried about that one as much as I was in the eighth with Hernandez. But um, yeah, it, it frustrates hitters. You could see it sometimes. Some of these guys on the other team that hit balls deep out that way and they get caught because you know most probably all but this ballpark they're home runs. No doubt, John. Appreciate the time, man. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Sorry I can't make it out tomorrow. You guys have a good day. You know, you can cut a big check, though, John. Yeah, <laughs> big money. Yeah, big money waiter. It was no doubt, no doubt. We'll get to it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, John. All right, guys. See, See you. Him. John, <laughs> I hope we didn't input. You did. Do you, you, think, did. you think that bothered him? <laughs> yeah. yeah we'll, we'll get to it. <laughs> you put it right on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what to say. He couldn't wait to hang up the phone, and you just held him. <laughs> What's he going to say? No, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Why do you like fires, John? <laughs> Why are you a big fan of burning buildings, dude? Put, put your money where your body ain't going to be. He just said, yeah, we'll get to it. <laughs> I was just I'm like, sorry. Should I text him? I don't want to I I talk to him until next Wednesday. I'm scared. I'm a little scared of waiter. He's old school. Beat me he up. got a big check. He'll, he'll go Carrick on my ass. It's not what you need. 